You want to know something that I never understood? Then the answer is streaming services. On the surface the idea is pretty good. Why pay for an clunky cable box with 100s of useless channels when you can pay for a cheap Netflix or Hulu subscription with no hidden fees and are like a few bucks, or heck Amazon Prime comes with their own version of Netflix. For the longest time there were three main competitors in the streaming market, Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. But now they are a bunch of them. Most of them taking content from the former. For example Netflix had the office until. Bam. Hi Netflix. Ima take my office back lol goodbye. So NBC made their own service called Peacock. And Disney as well. I mean to be fair Disney Plus is pretty good, I've been binge watching the world according to Jeff Goldblum. Where was I? Oh yeah bad streaming services. Yeah apparently people are excited for HBO Maximum. Or whatever it's called, I don't care like at all but to be fair Ot does have all 50 seasons for Sesame Street, r slash birds tips relax please. Another things about streaming services live TV. Basically cable TV but better. Instead of paying for a useless cable box pay, for that but cheaper. Sling is good but it's dying. The biggest in the market so far is YouTube and Hulu. The reason why those are the best is, because they include something that the others don't. They have their own streaming services. Hulu has their own service. While YouTube has their originals and an unlimited DVR. Anyways I wanted to talk about this, because I bored okay bye. In a video I made a few weeks ago I talk about streaming services. Although I forgot one. Game streaming. Well for Sbox it is a subscription service. But that is besides the point. My friend Mr. Tipos made a way better video than mine, so check it out via the link in the description. Anyways enough rambling, let's get on with the video. PlayStation rolled out PlayStation Now. It has games such as, let me check. Persona 5, and Rocket League. What great games. It is also for PC. What's the downside to PlayStation Now? It's laggy and low res, what I mean by that is gaming and streaming should never mix. It makes the game look horrible, and have input lag, and for some games like Rocket League a laggy match can spell defeat. Xbox Game Pass is different, instead of streaming games you download games. It has a lot of Xbox exclusives, and it has great games like Minecraft and Terraria. That in itself should be a great reason on why you should get Xbox Game Pass, I'm not sponsored. And since they are downloaded the games can be played offline. All of the games are new unlike. Nintendo. Which has Switch Online. The free games are a perk that comes free with Switch Online you know, like a bonus. It's great since it comes with every good game on the Northeasts and the Snows. Mario, Link, Kirby, Tetris, you name it. It's great and it is really popular, since Switch Online is cheap and stuff. Okay we have one more to go. Google Stadia. Anyways guys I hope you guys liked, and subscribed thanks for watching, and join my discord. Okay but seriously Stadia is a good idea on paper, but it suffers from the issues of the streaming services I talked about. I mean the marketing is where it's so that's a plus, Google Plus. Most logic divine, mind bending, absurd gaming platform on earth. According to our alpha gamer, PewDP, free and that's a is great a great price. price. Well, free can mean a lot of things. But for me, I like going premium. But in the summer of 2019 that all changed, my family cancelled Netflix for reasons. So that means for the entire summer I had no content other than YouTube. Eventually, I found out something, something cool. 2B. Well, I use that, until I found out my dad had Amazon Prime, so we had Prime Video, that had such classics like, The Nut Job 2. But pickings were slim, so I just stuck to YouTube for a few months until my family got Disney Plus. Oh, and cable exits. Today we look back on some of the free streaming services for movies and TV. I will not talk about sketchy illegal sites, and I'm not sponsored.
2B is one of the best, to be honest. It has Mega Mind, you know, one of the most underrated films of this generation. Also, it has Good Burger which apparently a spin-off of an old Nickelodeon sitcom called All That. Also, it has a kids mode like Netflix, which was really unnecessary, but it's fine I guess. I love how professional it is. It looks clean and modern, it has Norm of the North, is there any way to block a movie? It has a nice selection of religious movies LA Patient de Cristo. En este canal la falta un montón de religión. Alabanza Jesus. It has a ton of anim. Like we are talking like solid anim like is that a Jojo reference? So overall 2B is fine. Now popcorn flicks is like to be, but except it's bad. None of the apps on TV, or on mobile work. So you can only use the website, and the same advert plays. Uck, at least with 2B you get different adverts. But if you get past, that it is fine. What separates popcorn flicks from the others is the gif maker. Nah, just joking. It has originals, which is weird, since this is one of the only free streaming services I know of with originals. Also apparently they have the right to stream stories from Storybooth, which is cool. Voodoo has tons of free movies. It has originals, just like popcorn flicks. It has masterpieces such as Scooby-Doo, and pieces of trash like Open Season. Oh it also has Good Burger. It has a nice mix of content, and while Voodoo is primarily a pay-per-view VOD service, it has a nice collection of free content. Crackle is fine, I never used it before, but I heard from many people that it is great, especially with Sony at the wheel. Okay, this one is great, because it has Shrek 4 and Bob Ross, two masterpieces in one service. This is special, since it's Amazon flavored. It's a normal streaming service app and website, while also being a prime channel that comes built in with every Amazon account. Also, the only way you can access Mbon Mobile is from the Imb app instead of being a separate app. It has the best content in my opinion, since it's owned by Amazon. I saved the best for last. This one differs from all the services, because instead of being a VOD it's a cable-like service with 24 over 7 live channels for free. Again, I'm not sponsored, although I wish I was. It has over 200 channels filled with 24 hour programming. It has a bunch of channels that show licensed videos from sites like YouTube and Dailymotion. There is really a channel for everyone, it has two movie channels, two family channels, CBS News, a channel dedicated to Roblox and Minecraft, a channel about the 90s and 80s cartoons, which is my favorite, since they play the original Sonic, Claypoint Watch, channels about almost any topic imaginable, and it's owned by Viacom which means it has almost every channel. They own like Nickelodeon and MTV, granted it's archival content instead of simulcasts of their cable counterparts but still. I recommend you check it out to see every channel. It has a good merger. These are all good, since they're free you can basically use all of them at once. If I would like to recommend two, I suggest Pluto TV and to be, preferably in that order. If you have Hulu or some other premium streaming service like the cable I recommend using that instead. But it can't afford to pay for those, or you're trying to save money then these are some good alternatives. Comment below if you want to see more free streaming services, I know missed some. Remember to like and subscribe and this is Hamburger signing off.